A picture tells more than a thousand words and sometimes captures a moment that becomes forever imprinted in someone's memory as bittersweet. This man took this photo of himself on a bright and happy day, but a few minutes later, something devastating happened. It was a beautiful Sunday morning in 1995. The flowers were blossoming and the evening sun was already setting. It was the perfect time to hang out and take beautiful pictures. And Zhao Hongbo, a father of one, knew this very well. So he decided he and his family would take an evening stroll to the riverside. If only he had known the single decision would leave his family in great misery and he would have definitely suggested some other pastime. He needed to tell his wife Chu about the evening stroll so they could start making plans. Zhao then tiptoed into the kitchen to join her at the counter, where she was making juice. Once there, he hugged her tightly. Darling, you look exceptionally beautiful today. What's the secret of your beauty, my love? He asked with a loving smile. You, my love, you are the secret to my beauty. I am scared I will become ugly if you ever leave me. She responded, I will never leave you. You know this. Why would you say such a thing? Zhao inquired. We swore to be together until death do us part, but we won't know when that is going to be until the very last moment. After speaking that sad truth, Chu took a deep breath and asked Zhao who he thought would die first between the both of them. The husband didn't like the topic and tried changing it, but she wouldn't let him. With a sweet smile playing on her face, she cupped Zhao's face and said, We will live very long, we will get to 100 and I will die a few hours before you. I just want to go first. I will be in so much pain if you leave me before, so promise me that you will let me go first. Zhao stared at his wife wondering what had come over her. Why are you suddenly talking about this? Zhao frowned a little, but Chu asked him to make the promise. Reluctantly, he crossed his heart and promised that he would wait for her to go first and that she could die a few hours before him. However, that would soon become no more than empty words. Putting that conversation behind, Zhao told his wife the reason he had come to the kitchen in the first place. It was a beautiful day and he thought that it would be great if they could take a walk beside the Yongding River. Chu was fun-loving and she had an adventurous spirit, so she agreed immediately to his plan. Her spontaneity was the reason the couple had connected in the first place. The two had met during a vacation and from that day on, they had tried to make all of their free time a small adventure. With their boy's arrival, Zhao had started working more hours so he could earn extra money to provide for him and his beloved wife, who indeed meant the whole world to him. Since he usually spent lots of hours at work on weekdays, Zhao made sure he relaxed and had fun with his family on Saturdays and Sundays. By 1.30 p.m., Chu had already made all necessary preparations for the outgoing. She parked a picnic blanket and a basket filled with food. Their one-year-old son had woken up and was ready for a fun day with his family. The trio got into the family car and Zhao drove off. One of them would not make it back home, but they didn't know it yet. About an hour later, the family got to the Yongding River located in the city's Xijing Shan district. There was a small crowd there, but everyone had a beautiful smile on their face. They all seemed happy and excited. Sadly, this wouldn't last. Pandemonium would break out in less than 30 minutes. Zhao and his wife held hands as they walked around the area. The two reminisced on the beautiful times they had shared and fantasized about their future together. They couldn't wait to see what life had in store for their little family and were eager to explore all future stages of their life together. Meanwhile, just a few meters away from the family and very close to the river, three kids were playing a game of truth or dare. But being kids, they all accepted the rules without worrying about the consequences. They just wanted to have fun. The game involved the kids jumping inside the river and staying for as long as they could under the water. The last person to come out of the river would win some cookies. Eager to win, the oldest took the lead and ran towards the bank. What are you waiting for? If you don't dive in, the cookies will all be mine, he screamed at the two other kids, a boy and a girl who were starting to have doubts about the whole game. 
They watched their friend dive into the river, and somehow his courage inspired them, so they took to their heels and jumped into the water too. Although they had just planned to stay close to the edge, they had no swimming skills, so the water began to carry them to the deeper part of the river. Knowing that they could drown if they didn't get out of the water soon, the kids, now filled with fear, began to cry for help. Zhao and his family, who had been taking pictures close to the river, immediately heard the children screaming. This was the last photo Zhao took before noticing the kids in the water. Without thinking, he began to take off his shoes so he could save them. Hang in there, I'm coming! Zhao yelled as he took off his jacket. Ready to save the boys, he began making his way towards the river. He had only taken a few steps when his wife suddenly pulled him back. Do you have to go? We could call the authorities, Chu said with fear written in her eyes. It may be too late if we wait for them. I will bring them out and I will join you soon, he said, then kissed his wife's forehead and dashed towards the river. While Zhao was sprinting towards the children, other people also became aware of the danger and followed him. Zhao reached for the girl first and pushed her to the shallow part of the river. Then he turned back to save the other two boys. He pushed the oldest kid to safety and the bystanders dragged the boy to dry land. Now it was time to save the last one, but sadly, things were about to go very wrong. Zhao lifted the boy over his shoulder and started to make his way out of the water. But they had barely left the deep part of the river when Chu noticed that something was wrong. It seemed as if Zhao was drowning. She couldn't see his shoulders, yet somehow he managed to get to the boy in the midwater part, where others could easily save him. Seeing that the boy was now alone, another bystander jumped in and pulled him to safety, but there was no sign of Zhao. When the little boy got to the dry land, he burst into tears and said, The man that saved me got tired. He's down there. Chu immediately called for help, and police officers and rescue teams responded to the situation. The team searched the river for hours, and around 5.30 p.m. that evening, Zhao was eventually found dead in the water. He had given up his life to save the kids. Chu refused to grant interviews for a while as she was still grieving her husband's death. But after a while, she broke her silence. It's strange that before my husband passed away, we discussed dying. Maybe I just had the feeling something would happen, or maybe it was just a sad coincidence. He promised he would let me go first. He didn't keep his word, but it's okay. I understand why he did that. I'm proud of my husband. He's a hero. I miss him so much, but I'm glad that he died for a greater good. She said in an interview, Zhao's brave deeds were later recognized by the local government. Beijing Daily and Beijing Youth Daily reported. He was praised by thousands of people and the families of the kids that were saved thanks to his selfless nature rallied around his wife and son for lifelong support. Not all heroes wear capes. Some are just mothers and fathers who would do anything for their children, or even somebody else's kids. Would you jump into a body of water to save a drowning kid? How would you explain to your child that their father died a hero? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.